going to be talking about graduation requirements, endorsements, and performance acknowledgements. Your high school career is similar to baking, kind of. The courses you take, the effort you put into, translate into the final product. Let's do some baking. The ingredients you will need for today's recipe are four credits of math, four credits of English, four credits of science, and four credits of social studies. 5.5 elective credits. This would be your endorsement electives. One credit of fine arts, one credit of PE, two credits of the same world language, half a credit of health, five star and of course exams, in CPR and Peace Officer Instruction. Let's get baking. As you can see, dumping the ingredients together is not enough. It takes time to gather all the ingredients and it also takes work. You need to put effort, you need to be engaged and active so that your ingredients become the batter of your graduation requirements. 26 credits almost ready. Now you have your ingredients mixed. Remember that it takes work, effort, engagement, and dedication. Those 26 credits don't show up in your transcript by chance. You work for them. You love every credit or not, you went to tutorials, or not, but they are finally here, all 26 of them. It is so exciting. It takes four years to gather, mix, and finally bake your 26 graduation credits. I think that our graduation cupcakes are ready. Let's check them out. let them cool down for a minute. Ta-da! The first part of your graduation requirement is done. Every student needs 26 credits to graduate. But wait, why are they different? Remember your core credit classes and your elective credits that you took during your high school career? That's what they look different. Let's talk about endorsements. You can earn one or more endorsements. Here they are. The blue icing represents the STEM endorsement, and it can be earned by taking math and science courses. The red icing represents the business and industry endorsement, and there are many courses within this endorsement. The green icing represents the Arts and Humanities endorsement. It can be earned by taking courses in the fine arts and languages, just to name a few. The purple icing represents the multidisciplinary endorsement. If you like to explore different courses and programs, this is a good endorsement for you. The pink icing represents the public service endorsement and it can be earned by participating in courses or programs such as teaching and law. Remember that these are just examples. If you're not sure what endorsement you're working on or will earn upon graduation, see your counselor. The next part, performance acknowledgements. Performance acknowledgements are the sprinkles on the cupcake. Did you take an AP exam and score three, four, or five? You get a performance acknowledgement. You took 
dual credit classes and have 12 credits, you get a performance acknowledgement. Are you bilingual and finish your courses English and Spanish or the other course with an 80% average? You get a performance acknowledgement. Do you score 1310 on the SAT? You get a performance acknowledgement. While some students graduate with the cupcake base and the icing only, it is nice to have some sprinkles. Lastly, do you earn your CCMR indicator? Here's a candle we can light up to celebrate.